this is a Samsung S21 5G Ultra and check it out, it's running Windows 10. Let me show you a bunch of cool things that your Android phone can do beyond social media and texting. Okay, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Right, perhaps you're watching this video right now on your phone or perhaps you just scrolled through your Instagram feed or just read an email on your phone. When was the last time you actually made or received a phone call? Mine was like days ago. So why are we still calling these things a phone is just beyond me. These things are mini computers and mini computers can do a lot more than they seem. I mean, Take the Samsung S21 Ultra as an example. 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, and Wi-Fi 6E. Wi-Fi 6E, I mean, my computer is brand new and it can not even do that. So what else can these Android phones do? Well, check these out. Let's be honest, we've all been in those Zoom calls where you get this lovely nasal shot or an unflattering angle of the person we're speaking with. Well. Typically, laptops come with these low-quality webcam built into the screen, and you kind of have this tilting angle thing that you got to kind of deal with. Wouldn't it be awesome, instead of using that low-quality camera, to just use the camera that comes with your Android phone? Whilst, yes, it would. Let me show you how you can use your phones as a webcam. Right, what you're going to do is go to the store and find Droid Cam and simply install that on your phone. When it's on your phone, you'll launch it and you see this lines of code. It will tell you what the IP address is. Make a note of that. You're going to need that for the next step. Then go into dev47apps.com. Link will be in the description, so you can just click on that. And you're going to have to download the Windows client. This little program will pop up on your computer. And then all you do is you put in the IP address and the port number. All that information was available on the previous screen that was available on your phone. Then click start and it is connected. So there we go. This is what my phone can see and you can see it immediately gets translated onto the computer. I am now using the webcam from my phone straight to my computer. There's my cute little dog. Say hello, Freddy. Hello, Fred. Okay. Now, can we use this in things like Zoom? Absolutely. So there's my Zoom application. Let me change that to the source of the Droid Cam. And there we go. Very simple, using your phone as a webcam. So your phone can actually be used to lock your computer automatically. Think about this. You're in a coffee shop, you're working away on your keyboard whilst the barista is preparing your non-fat cappuccino and you're waiting for your name to be called. Now, when they butcher your name and they call you up, you go up to grab your coffee, your computer is automatically being locked. Well, let me show you how you can set that up. Okay, in your Windows, go to your settings, click on accounts, and then on the left-hand side, click on sign in options. Then scroll down until you see something called dynamic lock. Now, in order for this to work, what you have to do is to get your phone to be connected to your computer via Bluetooth. If you haven't done that before, you simply follow the prompts as you set this up right here. Now it works very simply. As soon as you walk away from your computer out of Bluetooth range, within one minute, it automatically will lock your computer. You can use your phone as an external monitor for your computer. It's so simple, it's free, and the best bit is that your phone doesn't have to be connected to your computer with a cable for this to work. I mean, take the 6.8 inch screen on the Samsung S21 Ultra, nice and big, let's take advantage of it. All you gotta do is download a simple app and get it set up. Let me show you how to do that. Right, head out to spacedesk.net, link will be in the description, you can simply click on that. You can read all the information, but essentially, again, it's made up of two parts. The first part, you're gonna have to install the Windows driver program. So simply download that and install that. Very, very straightforward. And then you have to install the client side, which is the bit that goes on your phone. It's an app that goes on your phone so the two can actually talk to each other. So everything is available here. Simply click and follow the prompts. Then launch the program on your phone. It makes a connection over your local Wi-Fi to your computer. The two start talking to each other and then 
there we go it becomes an external screen for your computer and just like any regular external monitor of course you can take application from your main screen and simply drag and drop it onto your phone screen things like your mouse your keyboard those will all work as normal on your phone just like an extended monitor which is what windows sees this as pretty cool lots of application from this you're gonna have lots of fun playing with this Hope you like those tips and tricks. Check out more over here in these videos. Hit the head below to subscribe. If this is your first time here, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.